Hello again and welcome back to Operations Management. In this session, we're going to continue with the problem that we started in the last one about the LRDR laundry, co laundry company. And in this one, instead of trying to determine whether or not we can meet a particular capacity, we're going to try and figure out how many resources we actually need to meet capacity. So it's a little bit different. Let's get started. If you recall, the LRDR Laundry Company provides a commercial laundry service to businesses whose employees wear uniforms. Approximately 10% of the loads are considered heavy loads. The rest are considered normal. A normal load takes 30 minutes in the washer, 80 in the dryer. A heavy load takes 45 minutes in the washer and 140 minutes in the dryer. They have two washers and four dryers. Washers and dryers can run 22 hours a day, seven days a week. And the original question was, can they meet their weekly demand of 500 loads? When we worked on the problem in the last session, the big key was identifying the bottleneck. The bottleneck is the resource pool that is the slowest. It is what's actually preventing us from meeting our, capac uh, our demand requirements. In this case, when we looked at it, we saw that the washer resource pool could meet the requirement of 500 loads per week. In fact, it could complete 586.7 loads per week. But the dryer could only do 429.8. So the dryer capacity being lower than that of the washer capacity said, this is our bottleneck. Even though there were four dryers, the amount of loads that could be done in that resource pool was lower than in the washer. So what we need to do is determine how many dryers are actually needed in order to meet the required 500 loads per week. So if you recall, when we put in the information in the grid to determine how many minutes were needed per load, we used the weighted average between the heavy load and the normal load to get the average unit load. The washer took 31 and a half minutes on average for a load, whereas the dryer took 86. So the next thing we need to do is figure out how much time is actually needed to do 500 loads in a week. So 500 loads times the average unit load is what is going to give us that time. So the time needed is our unit load times the 500 loads. So we took 500 times 31.5, we came up with 15,750 minutes. For the dryer, it was 86 minutes per load times 500 said we need 43 thousand minutes in a week of dryer time in order to get those 500 loads done. Now we also know how much time is available per resource unit per week. We had 22 hours a day, each one worked 60 minutes is in an hour, and there are seven days in a week. So it was 22 hours a day times 60 minutes per hour times seven days in a week, so a single washer could do 9,240 minutes. A single dryer could do 9,240 minutes. So now to determine the number of resource units needed, we're going to take the amount of time that's needed for 500 loads, divide it by the amount of time available per resource unit, and that will tell us how many we need. So there it is. The number of units needed is the total amount of time needed divided by the total time available per resource. So we took our 15,750 divided by 9,240 and that told us we needed 1.7 washers. And we had two, so obviously we met the requirement there. For the dryers, we needed 43,000 minutes to do 500 loads divided by 9,240 minutes per resource unit. Said we needed 4.65. We only had four. So that would explain why the dryer is the bottleneck. 
we need to increase the number of dryers in order to meet the capacity requirement of 500 units per week. In our next session, we're going to be talking using the same problem, only now we're going to be adding dollar values to it. We're going to take a look at the profitability of the LRDR company. I'll see you then.